Hello and welcome. Uh, you perhaps know Japanese pharmaceutical giant Aizai for its solutions for dementia and Alzheimer's, but it's also moving into new areas like oncology in markets like India. What are the challenges as it does that as a large multinational company and trying to find its feet uh, here? Of course, you've been here for a while. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, K. Shiv Kumar. Uh, and so let me ask you the, the first question, right? I mean, as, as a multinational company that's uh, trying to grow in a market that seemed to be growing but is suddenly slowing down, yeah. how does it feel? Uh, we feel that this uh, dip in growth is a blip, mm -hmm. uh, I would say, because this is more due to the impact of uh, the NLEM, where uh, some of the big products have come under price control. So I would think that uh, the fundamentals in terms of number of patients, mm -hmm. the level of penetration, mm -hmm. is all in favor of market growth. So I would feel that maybe for a period of one or two quarters, you will see some dip in growth, but the reduction due due to price will be made up by volumes. Because if you see there are three elements of the growth in um, the market, when you have mm. volumes, mm. and then you have price, mm. and then you have new products. Mm. Uh, volumes will definitely increase. But that's the only one left, because new products are going down and yes, uh, prices are going down. Yes, new products are going down because of the issue of clinical trial. Mm -hmm. But hopefully that should be sorted out mm -hmm. sooner rather than later, despite the okay. Supreme Court uh, verdict. Mm -hmm. So volumes will be a sort of a key driver of growth okay. and uh, from what I hear from many of the other company people is also they are looking at expansion to go into newer areas, rural areas and also looking at more brand building. Mm -hmm. So I would say it's just a matter of time because the, the sheer size of the population and the epidemiology in especially chronic care like diabetes, hypertension. Mm -hmm. It's so huge. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a blip. I think it will correct itself. When so can you tell us about your own product portfolio? How much of it is affected by price control and how much of it lies outside? Uh, fortunately for us, uh, we have very limited exposure to NLEM. Mm -hmm. uh, our business model is partnership plus our own mm -hmm. uh, promoting our product. So we have a very old product called Methicobal with Vocart. Mm -hmm. It has been in partnerships in 1999. Mm -hmm. That is doing well, that is not under price control. The second mm. biggest product is Parrot, mm. Rabeprazol for acid peptic disorders. That is also doing very well. Mm -hmm. It got impacted a bit because of this issue between the uh, retailers, wholesalers for the margins. Mm -hmm. But I'm told it is sorted out. Mm. So, and our own promoted products, none of them are in the NLEM category. So we are not that way impacted. Our, our major concern is how do we look at, uh, especially in the field of uh, dementia, how do we get more patients screen, more patients diagnose and put on treatment because currently only around 5 lakh patients are being uh, treated for dementia. As Actually against? suffering are close to 45-50 lakhs. So when we came in 2005... 45-50 or 5 million, that's your, you're talking about India as a country? India as a country. Okay. So there are 5 million uh, people suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. And so would it be the case that many people don't even know about it? Exactly, because uh, in India, if you start losing memory, so he's become old. That's mm. the, the old age problem. Mm. But if you uh, detect it early and treatment starts early, then you're able to delay the progression of the disease. Right. So that is one of our uh, concern for as far as uh, Alzheimer's is concerned. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the areas where we do a lot of uh, patient-centric activity, where we do a lot of... Uh, uh, screening camps. We have what is called as memory clinics, mm. where on specific days patients come and with a doctor and the psychologist, we do the testing. We have a what called the one minute test and a two minute test and a three minute test. So, is that, that is a, what is there like a is there like a you know a three point rule that you should check or you can maybe administer in people in your home you know which will yes, tell you. Yes, we can do that in yeah. like if we go to say. A, so you're saying the first symptom is memory loss? I mean, or first or symptom is memory loss. You know, you start loss. to suddenly forget certain things. So those and are the... it comes with age also. And it comes with age. Sometimes it's also genetic. Okay. And sometimes it also happens when people suffer stroke. Mm. So it's called vascular dementia. So when you have the stroke, you mm. have a, you know, due to say whatever reason. Mm. So stroke-induced dementia also happens. So it is a, a sort of a time bomb waiting to explode in my opinion because with uh, diabetes, hypertension also impacting mm. dementia, mm. so it's a deadly combination. So that is our right. concern, how do we mm. get more people to be screened and diagnosed and treated with uh, dementia. Right, And and but you're also now looking more at oncological Yes, uh, we diseases. are looking at oncology yeah. because our research is into women's oncology. So we are now having a product which we are launching for 
metastatic breast cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, then we are going to have a product for thyroid cancer and for ovarian cancer. Mm -hmm. These are all very woman specific problem. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like thyroid happens more in women than in men. Mm -hmm. And metastatic breast cancer also is more in women than in men. So oncology is an area where we feel that there is, uh, uh, we have got good products mm -hmm. and we'll be able to fulfill the need of those patients where they want to improve their survival. Right. So broadly, if I were to uh, ask you to look at India as a whole, uh, where do you feel are the critical opportunities or, th or opportunities which need to be addressed critically or urgently? Uh, from, a, from a very company perspective, if you yeah. say ASI, I think we are very niche. Mm -hmm. So there's an opportunity for us to expand our offerings to the patients. So and and you will continue to grow in Alzheimer's and dementia, is we what will, you said. That will yeah. be Though a key. Drugs key, are off key. patent. Yeah. Well, because in India, whether you are patent or not doesn't matter. Okay. It's how you go about promoting your product. Mm -hmm. So we see opportunities, of course, in CNS area. Mm -hmm. So apart from dementia, we also have products for epilepsy. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, got a product which has been uh, approved in Europe and approved in US which is the first in class called AMPA antagonist for partial onset uh, mm. epilepsy. That is something which we have submitted to the DCGI and we are waiting approval, maybe it will come. So epilepsy is one key area for us. Dementia is another key area for us. And third is, of course, oncology. Mm. Apart from that, we feel that if we have to fulfill our vision of H HHC, we have this thing called human healthcare approach, mm. where we want to serve more patients. And the first thought goes to patients and the caregivers. So we feel that in India, our big products are with partners. Mm. So maybe there is a need for us to look at how do we can grow, mm -hmm. grow faster. Mm -hmm. Organically, of course, but if there's a need for inorganic, that is also we are open to. Right. So you're saying you're, 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 you're open to acquisitions uh, of yes, brands and Yes, we are open to capacity. acquisition brand, companies. Essentially, we don't want manufacturing because right. we have a manufacturing setup. And uh, and that seems to be a larger trend, right? The big Japanese companies uh, acquiring yes. assets yes, uh, yes. in the pharmaceutical space. Also because of the fact that uh, the leadership in Japan feels that India is a good partner vis-a-vis mm -hmm. -vis their issues with China. Right. So if you see Shinzo Abe is saying that go to India, invest in India. Mm. So many Japanese companies have come. You see Takeda, you see Otsuka, uh, you've seen Daichi came in early, you've yeah. seen Eizai. So any overall, other industries also you see, there are a lot of investments coming from Japan. So in that sense, it augurs well for right. ASI to expand here. So uh, last kind of question, what is the what are the areas that you would look to uh, expand by acquisition if at all the right opportunity came? Uh, of course, we would want to be in uh, areas where we could serve more patients. So mm -hmm. maybe one is acute care. Mm -hmm. So maybe your uh, nutraceuticals, your anti-infectives, your pain. Mm -hmm. Those are bread and butter for you know acute care. You know a GP or a CP can prescribe. Specialty wise, of course, I told you about CNS. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, certain products in license in the field of urology. Mm -hmm. So one is for urinary incontinence. Another one is for uh, BPH, mm -hmm. which is also uh, products from Japanese company which we are in licensing. That is also one specialist area. So if you look at it, we'll have three or four specialist business, and we'll have also uh, mass business. But then we are able to serve more number of patients and we are sort of uh, being represented in the Indian pharma market. So therefore your acquisition by nature also would be a large one as in you're not looking at a No, it will not be a large one mm -hmm. because after what has happened with Daichi, Sankyo mm -hmm. and Baxi, I think the company believes that we should look at smaller acquisitions mm -hmm. and then gradually integrate them into the business and build and take it but forward. Nevertheless, the brands would have to be meaningful and known yeah, course, and, and so on. Needless and to in say. In the three or four areas uh, that you talked about. To say, of course. Mr. Shiv Kumar, all the best for uh, the next few years in India. Thank you so yeah. much.